to Jakarta. Thank you. Yeah, can you tell us about Biennale des Hommes du Coeur? Why is it in Jakarta right now? Oh, why in Jakarta? The problem is uh, the fair is a very old fair. You're the managing director of Chopard Asia for the last one and a half years. How do you see Indonesia? How important is it for Chopard? Well, Indonesia is a very important market to us. It's actually very different to many of the other markets that I'm responsible for. Do you, do you see any um, different treatment for Asian market, Indonesia specifically? I mean, you have your global branding, which is very international and everyone's aware of Chopard. But do the Indonesians appreciate the brand as much as others from other countries? I believe they do. I mean, the, the consumer is very aware of luxury goods. There's still a, a lot of work we, we have to do in that regard. Kali ini dalam Platinum, kita mendalami seni menikmati teh. Bagaimana cara terbaik untuk merasakan teh? Salah satu orang yang paling kredibel untuk menjawab ini adalah Dilhan Fernando. Ia adalah putra dari pendiri teh Dilma, salah satu teh yang paling populer di dunia. So Dilhan, we can see that you're very passionate about tea business. Absolutely, it runs in the family. I can see that. So got us through. What, what's the tea drinking experience that you would consider? a Dilma experience? The most important part of enjoying tea, whether in relation to gastronomy or mixology, or just tea pure, the way my father and I enjoy it. Should I give it a try? To do that. Why don't you? Yes. Okay. And if you choke, don't worry. <laughs> uh, we will resuscitate you. Okay. Yes. I hope I won't choke. So just one sip, one slurp. That's and then it. Yes. Yeah. Give it a slurp. <laughs> So Samir, the month of Ramadan is seen as one of the golden times of the year for most banqueting side of restaurant and hotel business. What's your target till the end of this month for number of visitors or number of revenue? Well, uh, we're not very greedy. 200 guests every day. Jengkareng Golf itself. It was built in 1999, just right after the 98 crisis. So how's it doing in the last 15 years? Well, you know, th when you build a golf course, um, you, you really have to start planning sort of four or five years before it oh. opens. Tell us about the demography of your members. Well, our members, it's an interesting bunch. Because we're such a, a our location, um, we have obviously a, a, a large portion of our members are Indonesian. Cartier, brand perhiasan ini sudah melewati jalan panjang sejak tahun 1947. Didirikan oleh Louis Fonsois Cartier. Perhatian pada kualitas membuat rumah perhiasan ini dikenal sebagai Joaillier de Roi, Roi de Joaillier. 2014 mm -hmm. is the year of election. Mm -hmm. A lot of things happen. A lot of other business people mm -hmm. are actually on a wait and see position. Uh -huh. But you guys are coming ahead. Well, again, you take uh, 2014 as a small snippet in a very long history. So. So, Paul, you've been in the business here in Indonesia for over 20 years. How do you see the market at the moment? I'd say the market at the moment is quite booming. It'll, it'll be quite interesting, actually, to see yeah. what this Would you like to have a look around? Yes, please. <laughs> it'll be great. 